he was going to go places beyond the Project 3, Castle City, and beyond our public school. Thank you. This is now my, uh, not, not just my second, but I think my third and fourth time to speak before the Rotary Club of Makati. I think I spoke here when I was Postmaster General. I spoke here again after that. And the last one was uh, when Conrad also introduced me. I feel uh, very comfortable in the Rotary Club of Makati. I see a lot of friends here. I don't want to mention names because uh, there are a lot of you. Some of you here were even uh, my colleagues in the Rotary Club of Manila until we decided to transfer to the Rotary Club of Makati. Maybe the dues in uh, Manila were higher than the dues here in uh, Makati. And of course, uh, the leadership uh, of the Rotary Club of Makati is someone uh, who's very familiar to me, Jude Rojas. The president, uh, we go back uh, a long way, personal friends, and uh, I remember him when he used to visit us at the House of Representatives when he was uh, the chairman of the BCDA. I don't know if the chairman of the BCDA received uh, very high salaries uh, during that time. Uh, he looked very happy during uh, those times. But uh, the, the more current uh, BCDA chairman, Looks, I think, happier than uh, has. <laughs> thank you for uh, making me a part of your program. And I'd like to thank uh, Drex uh, Lagi also. He was the one who forwarded the invitation of the Rotary Club of Makati, not by mail, not by email, not by fax, but by Facebook, because uh, we are Facebook uh, friends. Uh, we communicate with each other every day by Facebook, probably the first time in the history of the Rotary where uh, an invitation was sent by Facebook. I don't know if you know what uh, we're talking about. <laughs> I also would like to meet uh, Bruce uh, Newfield, uh, uh, our moderator. I think he belongs also to the IT industry, which is actually going to be my topic. When uh, Drex uh, asked me, or forwarded your invitation to me, I asked him what do you want me to talk about. So he said that he heard that I was the one who filed a bill proposing the creation of the Department of Information and Communications Technology. So he said, uh, why not talk about it? And of course I said, yes, of course, uh, but perhaps uh, during the open forum, maybe, depending on uh, your pleasure, we can also talk about other things. Uh, I know that uh, there have been so many supervening events that have transpired that may be relevant to my advocacy. Uh, for example, uh, I was for a while a national security advisor. I was chairman of the committee on national defense of the house. I was chairman of the committee on public order and security. Maybe I can comment a little, although I do not really want to talk about it, about uh, what happened uh, last week in uh, Manila. Maybe uh, in a very sparing way we can talk about it. But let me now talk about uh, my topic, which is the creation of the Department of Information and uh, Communications Technology, DICT. If you look at the Philippine Constitution, that early, 1987, the Philippine Constitution, Section 24, Article 2, already declared that the state recognizes the vital role of communications and information in nation building that early, in spite of the fact that ICT was not yet a buzzword during that time. And that is the reason why I filed uh, this bill, which was filed uh, even in the previous Congress. And as you can see, the House bill number shows how important it is to me the kind of priority that I gave it, it is one of the low-numbered House bills in the House of Representatives, House Bill number 16. In fact, my second bill, I filed another bill, but that's another topic. This is House Bill number 16, proposing the creation of the Department of Information and Communications Technology. Some of you who are familiar with the government uh, probably know the background of the DOTC the Department of Transportation and Communications Technology. 
It used to be Department of Public Works. Then uh, it became Department Department of Public Works, Transportation and Communications. During the time, but then during the time of President Marcos, sometime in uh, 19, uh, I think 1979 or 1980, he created another department, Department of Transportation and the Ministry at that time, Ministry of Transportation and Communications. MOTC, now uh, DOTC, which turned out to be another big giant line department. But considering the advances in technology, <clears throat> I think now, in my opinion, it has become necessary to again uh, split this into two departments. One would be the Department of Transportation and the other would be the Department of Initially, they called it uh, Department of Communications, but I propose to call it Department of Information and Communications Technology. What are going to be the functions of uh, what I propose to be the DICT? Well, very carefully, it will uh, formulate, recommend, promote the wider use and development of information and communications technology, initiate, harmonize, or coordinate the ICT plans, represent and negotiate uh, for the Philippines' interests on matters pertaining to ICT, etc., etc. Uh, I don't want uh, to uh, belabor you with the details of uh, the powers and functions, but I think it's very obvious to most of you here, if not all of you here, considering your background in government, your background in the, the private sector. I think we all know what we are talking about as far as ICT is concerned. But I think of primordial interest also would be what would comprise the DICT if it will come to pass? What are the agencies that are going to be attached or included under the Department of Information and Communications Technology? Because uh, some of you who are dealing with these various agencies will already know what to expect. Section 13 of my bill proposes the transfer of the following agencies and personnel. One, all operating units currently existing in the Commission on Information and Communications Technology. There is already a CICT right now, but it is not yet a department. The CICT chairman is a member of the cabinet, but is not yet a line cabinet member. So the CITC city is going to become the core group of the proposed DICT. The National Computer Center under the Department of Science and Technology is proposed to be transferred. All offices, services, divisions, units, and personnel of the current DOTC with functions and responsibilities dealing with communications are proposed to be transferred to the DICT. And the NTC, National Telecommunications Commission, 